Hello, Virgo, Libra, cuz, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel, welcome to my channel, welcome to my channel, ow, okay. <laughs> hey, Virgo, Libra, cuz, welcome to my channel. I am Tierka. I'm all about love here, you all. And I'm so excited because, as you can see by the title, we are going to get some 2022 love predictions for you okay how are you all feeling virgo libra cusp i hope you all are very excited all right about the ending of a new year and approaching a new year this is now the time to let's we have to do this all year but you know it is kind of to me it's pivotal at the end of the year because you are we are approaching a new year so i just like to be uh revised here mentally um rejuvenated uh positive um full of dreams you know full of just ready to embark on a new me all right creating a better and improved me okay so virgo libra cusp hopefully that is how you all are feeling if if not then Chop, chop, chop. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for, huh? What are you waiting for? <laughs> okay, let me stop acting silly. All right, don't play too much. Okay, so Virgo Libra, because we want to get you all um, a prayer here, okay? We're going to get you all a prayer, leaving out of 2021, going into 2022. And please know that God will be with you always, okay? God is with you always. You can find that in Matthew chapter 28, verse 20, all right? God is with you always. So please know that as you move forward, as you are ready to tackle, okay? Know that you are not alone, right? You're never alone, okay? All right. Now, let's get an overall message for you, Virgo, because an overall message for you all towards this new romantic connection. Towards this new, I said it again, y'all, <laughs> romantic connection 2022, okay? Virgo, Libra, because what message do we have? Okay, Virgo, a Libra, because you got increase in finances. And, okay, so your overall message here. This person is going to help. Well, this person is going to be a great asset to you, um, both uh, materially, physically, mentally here okay an increase in finances all right so expect an increase in your finances in 2022 related to your own efforts all right it could be a raise a promotion some type of approval we're all about love here so approval when it comes to moving forward in this romantic connection know that you have earned it all right now let's get a visual here virgo because let me see if i can get a visual here into this romantic connection for you all in 2022 All right, let's see here, Virgo, Libra, Cusp. Oh, y'all, this is a lot of happiness. This is joy. This is sunflowers. This is, I'm seeing somebody who know how to um, dress, put the clothes together, you know, have pretty a, pure, a pretty smile, a beautiful smile, um, a nice, beautiful skin tone here. Okay, oh, Virgo, Libra, Cusp. I am seeing a closeness here, a family dynamic, all right? You all could be uh, this person. If you don't have any children with this person or you're ready to create here um, a family or start a family with children involved, this could be the one here, all right? 
And let's see if I'm going to leave a cusp. Let's get one more here. Okay, so we have uh, some feet with a broken glass here in the hands. So maybe this person, what I'm getting here from here, this person could have been maybe hurt in the past. Um, they could, they're trying to pick up the pieces here. They are trying to, um, they're working on gluing them, their self back together here. Okay. So, cause they ready. All right. Now, let me look into, let's look and see. Tell me about this person that's coming towards Virgo Libra Cusp. In 2022, romantically here. All right. Tell me about this person coming towards a Virgo Libra Cusp. You got a performer here. So this person could be um make a performer. It could uh let's see, you know, you could perform in different ways. Could be a Singer, uh, actress, uh, artist. Again, I'm seeing someone, maybe they like to wear hats. Okay, someone that is well-dressed here. Um, let me see. Someone who knows how to dance because we know Neo. You know, Neo know how to dance. Okay, so uh, let me see. So this person is going to maybe like to go out here. They're going to enjoy going out. Okay, now... Sometimes because we got the home there. Okay. So let's see. Virgo Libra, because we got Earth energy here. So Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. Or again, this is signifying to me that um when it, this is someone who is also working towards financial independence here, uh, becoming financially stable here. It could be uh yeah, someone who is wanting stability here. Okay. Now let's see. And you got Virgo energy. All right. So for some, it could be a Virgo. All right. And you have a crush here. So this person has a crush on you already. Or this is how it's going to get started because uh, they're going to have this crush on you. This could be saying this is somebody that you already have a crush on, Virgos. All right. Now let me see him get some more. I mean, Virgo Libra because. Virgo Libra Cup. Sorry. All right. Now tell me more about this person coming towards Virgo Libra Cup. Got Sagittarius energy here. So this person could be a Sagittarius, you all. Let's see. Virgo Libra Cup. About this. Okay, you have Mars. All right, so we know that is Aries energy here. Okay, if it's not an Aries and they are speaking on the planet Mars, this is someone that is going to be full of energy, power, and action. All right, this person is in this energy of ready to push through and conquer the barriers to success. All right. Uh, maybe with this Mars energy, uh, they could be, you know, well, we're just going to use positivity, the positive. So use Mars strength and vigor to carry you towards your goals. And this is what this person does. All right. You also have Saturn here. So that is Capricorn energy. If it's not a Capricorn, then this person... Uh, is going to, you know, have some boundaries, okay? They're going to have certain limitations that they have put up for their for themselves, all right? Um, this person is going to, they know what duties that needs to be taken in order to, you know, uh, where they know what they need to do in order to... Um, what is it? Um, how do I want to say? They know what should not be done. Be done, <laughs> y'all. I'm sorry, Virgo, because with this Saturn energy, Saturn is about containment, boundaries, and limitations. Restrictive, defining what cannot or should not be done. 
This points out what duties we are responsible for. So they know what duties they are responsible for. Okay. My bad, y'all. My bad. Chop, chop. Let's get back into it. Okay. Now, let me get some quotes and phrases. All right. Now, these quotes and phrases, because they are meant to help promote growth and uh, this new romantic connection. Okay. So, let's see. Virgo, Libra, cusp. Oh, so we're going to take this one. came out by itself. All right. So, we have here. We're going to read through these. And we're going to let the mind do what it do. And you're going to, yeah, get some advice also to help move forward. Okay. In a good way. Okay. So, it was a good experience here. So this says it was a good experience. All right. So maybe this person, if this is someone that you're already dealing with, they feel like that with you, it's a good experience here. It's a, I see you as someone who is independent, who is full of laughter, um, full of joy, very beautiful. Okay. All right, you have prioritized, so you want to make sure that you prioritize as you go into uh, this romantic connection, all right? So, imagine it did happen, okay? So, that is like, know that you can manifest here what, what you want. So, imagine that it did happen. So, whatever you're wanting, you go ahead and put it in the mental, you go ahead and act like, it already did happen, okay? All right? Now, you must realize that people have the right to think differently as well as not to do what you expect of them, all right? So, people, the people have a right. We have a right to think differently because we are individuals for a reason, all right? Even Siamese twins, you know, they still think differently, okay? So, just because this person is not... And like you, um, this does not mean that you should, you know, um, expect them to, if they're not thinking like you, then if this person don't think like you, why would you expect them to do what you want them to do? Okay. That's like trying to control somebody and, um, uh, this is a bit much. So that's some limit limitations. All right. So yeah. All right. So read the right literature. Try Bibla therapy. Learn from the characters. Okay. So read the right literature, which means make sure you feed your mental, your spirit, your, uh, make sure you feed yourself with the right literature. All right. You don't want to be taking in all kind of different type of um, advice from whatever, you know, from, from a whatever type of person. Okay. All right, you do your own research as well, okay? Because ain't nobody gonna know better than you, okay? Now, call of duty and love are different things. So, the call of duty, like the warrior, is I love that game, the call of duty. I don't know which one I played, but I went from the beginning and I, I like beat the whole game. I was so excited, all right, but I was. In the Call of Duty, you're fighting, you're shooting, you're in a war, all right? That is different than a love, unconditional love, okay? okay? So, please know that, all right? Um, war does not, war does not mean it's love. And if it's war, it's not love, okay? So, now, let me see. You have here, the social world is like a mirror that shows our reflection. All right. So be mindful of the representation of you when you step out. All right. Because, yeah, once it's going to start in us. All right. So once we, um, the social world is like a mirror that shows our reflection. So once you come out and, you know, take pride, be mindful of your representation, then that's going to really show and people are going to start to um, like, hey, that's how I'm supposed to go out and act. 
Not like uh, the wild animals, you know? Not like beasts, you know? Okay. So, I think... All right. Now, let's get you... I always do that. Okay. Let's get you all some more messages here. Okay. Get you all some messages towards this new romantic connection. Regularly because. All right. Virgo, okay, so you have present here, okay, abundant and gratitude. You all are going to feel um, grateful to have each other, all right, that's how I'm getting, okay, um, well, that's what I'm getting. You got spring here in the seeds, seeds. Okay, so planting seeds and maybe this is going to start to manifest into something very um, flourishing here around springtime or this is saying, you know, whatever you planting your seeds, that is that is with who it's going to grow with. All right. Now we have Pluto, uh, Scorpio energy here, transformation. Okay, so we know Pluto is the planet of transformation, uh, rebirth, leaving the old behind, making way for new. This is a sign that something is finished and uh, um, you're moving towards something better here. New beginnings, all right? And also you got the Ace of Pentacles. So all these, all these pentacles, you know, there's the new beginnings. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn first with the Ace of Earth, okay? But it's the Ace of Pentacles. It's um, an increase in your finances. It's uh, just abundance here, happiness. And yeah, it's just a lot of great energy right there, okay? Now let's see. Let's get a message. Let me see. How is this person going to be feeling about you? Or what could they possibly, what is they going to say to you? Virgo Libra Cusp. Or let me see. I want the fairy tale with you. But maybe that is not typical. That is not a fit. Well, maybe that is not the typical fairy tale you think it is. You don't know because you never asked me. Why don't you ask me what I really want? All right. So as you go into this new, this romantic connection, this person is wanting to grow with you. All right. But you want to make sure the communication you ask, you ask them, what do they want or what are they expecting here? All right. And they want to use their voice to express this to you. That takes me back there. Um, you know, don't expect somebody to just do what you want them to do and expect them to want what you want. You have to communicate, okay? And then that's how you're going to know, all right? You won't know until you communicate, all right? Now, let's see. Let's get one more. I had at my guard up with you because I didn't want to get hurt. So this person could be a bit guarded here, but they are trying to protect their feelings. All right. So, um, yeah. Okay. Now let me get some advice for you, Virgo Libra. Because oh, whoopsie. Virgo Libra Cusp, let's get some advice for them uh, for this as they move into 2022 in this romantic connection. Uh oh, that's too many, y'all. Okay, all right. So what you got? Raising, raising spiritual awareness here. Okay, so. Let's erase your spiritual awareness. This person will be spiritually aware here. This could be saying that. All right. You have waiting for you to come back to me. Okay. So now this is someone that you already dealing with because we had that crush there. Um, it could be waiting here. All right. So some ad I guess advice. Um don't want to wait around all right you want to put for you want to put some action 
And you don't want to wait around on a person if they're not ready. I just want to say that, okay? Because these two, um, but it's like hmm, meditation. Uh, someone, I guess someone I am getting from here, uh, this person probably would be mentally, I'm getting like mentally stable, okay? All right. And the numbers you have here is 1111. So you are connected spiritually and the universe, which is God, has a divine plan. Possibly a divine union may be on the horizon. You must first walk through the 1111 gates here. Okay, so you will be walking through the 1111 gates in 2022. With that being the number 11, I am going to get you all a uh, angel message for you with the number 11 connected. So your angels are sending you inspiration and encouragement to develop your abilities in ways that will help all of humanity. Uh, this is about you becoming spiritual, enlightened, and awakened. Come to the physical world from the realm of spirit here. And that's how you walk through this 1111 gates. Okay. So there is a divine union on the horizon y'all get ready for it i'm excited for you all uh virgo libra cuz i hope that these messages will be helpful thank you all for joining me i salute the divinity in you all i am sending you all so much love so much light so much positivity um y'all happy new year it's like the confetti if i had a lot of colors well, you can visualize the colors. I know I can. I can see purple, yellow, red, green, silver. Okay? So, Virgo Libra Cuss, thank you so much for joining me. I love you all. I will see you all next time. Bye.